mentioned in my early videos that I am a huge reader. That's just an understatement. I am a rabid reader, and so I wanted to do a book recommendation. And this is sort of not a book recommendation, it's sort of an author recommendation, because this author is absolutely amazing. The author's name is Yasmin Galanorn. Yasmin Galanorn, anyways. She um, is from near Seattle, and before, in the, before the last couple years, she actually wrote several pagan uh, nonfiction books that are, in my opinion, incredibly good books. I have um, Crafting the Body Divine and Embracing the Moon, and I think Trancing the Witch's Wheel, I'll have to check. I really, really enjoyed her nonfiction metaphysical work. It was, it, it's great. If you can get a hold of it, absolutely read it. She also did some cozy mysteries, which are, you know, those supermarket mysteries, but hers were a little different. Um, she had a series called Chins in China, where the heroine amateur sleuth was a witch, and her grandmother had been a witch, and so that was really kind of an interesting spin on things, and they were really well written. Then, recently, she started a new series, and Sisters of the Other World, yeah, Sisters of the Other World, I, this is one of my favorite series ever, it's one of, the first book in the series is Witchling, and the, the basic premise of the series is that there's these three sisters, they're half fairy, half human. They live in Seattle, near Seattle. And in their world, everyone knows about the existence of supernatural creatures. This is kind of like if you watch True Blood or you read the House of Night novels, it's similar to that. People know, they know that fairies and vampires and shapeshifters and everything exists. They know that. So the first sister, each book is narrated by a different sister. This one is Camille, and here's my cat who's going to walk on my computer. <laughs> Sorry. This one is done by Camille. Camille um, is, like I said, half fairy, half human, and she is a witch. She She's my favorite, Camille is. I really like her. And because she's half human, her magic sometimes misfires, but uh, she's absolutely wonderful. She's just fabulous. She's very beautiful and sexy and powerful, and she's just a very, very amazingly done character. So, uh, yeah. now I will warn you a couple things. This series does have some graphic sexual scenes, sort of a paranormal romance series, but they're really well done. I just don't want someone to pick it up on my recommendation and be like, oh, you didn't tell me, and get upset. So, that's the first book. The second book is Changeling. This is Delilah, and Delilah is a half fairy, half human. She's also a were cat. She actually changes into an orange tabby cat. And Delilah is, she's not the youngest sister, but they kind of treat her like the youngest sister because she wears Hello Kitty pajamas, watches Jerry Springer, eats junk food. She's, she's hilarious. She's a lot of fun. Then the third book, Darkling, and this is Menely. And Menely is a vampire. She was turned into a vampire. Another quick warning, once you get to this book, if you have triggers about sexual assault, this book has um, some things like that in it. In my opinion, it's really well done. And it does come from a place of healing, so you can take that into consideration, but if you have triggers, you might just want to have some awareness when you read this one. There's three more books out. The seventh book is going to be out in January, and she rotates. So, Witchling was Camille, Changeling was Delilah, Darkling is Menely, then Dragon Witch was Camille, Night Huntress was Delilah, and Demon Mistress was Menely. Then Bone Magic is coming out in January, and that'll be Camille again. And basically what happens is these sisters are part of an organization called the OIA, the Otherworld Intelligence Agency, and they live Earthside, and they help the human police with crimes that involve supernatural beings, because sometimes bullets don't work. So what happens is there's a war 
in the other world, and they are sort of loose ends. They're loose ends left hanging. But while they have no support from back home because of this war, they have a bigger problem, of course, and that is that a big bad demon from what they call the subterranean realms wants to take over the Earth, and he has to get these spirit seals that were lost eons ago, so they have to find them first. And I think that these are really great books because the characters are so real. They are so real. And all the characters, not just the sisters, their friends, their significant others, their, the people that help them, they are so amazingly real and wonderful, and I just can't tell you enough. I mean, I connect very much with the characters. And the storyline's fun. There's comedy, there's sex, there's action, there's fighting, there's magic. It's just amazing, and I, I love them. So I highly recommend picking up Yasmin Galanorn's Sisters of the Otherworld series and any other Yasmin Galanorn books you can find, because I think they're all great. I haven't read a bad one by her yet.